Hey everybody. Um, today we're going to talk about Aptera's in wheel motors and how they are actually um, produced by Alfie and how they are going to make Aptera more aerodynamic and that they are actually built to last. Let's get into it. <laughs> Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to talk about Alfie's in wheel motors here. And the car in the front, they're driving on uh, snow and ice. The car in the front has uh, all the wheels are the Alfie in wheel motors. The car in the back only has in wheel motors on the back. And you can see that the car in the front is actually handling all this ice and snow a lot better than the car in the back is. But Alfie, I mean, they're doing so many tests on these motors and well, I mean, for the business that they're in, they have to make sure that these motors are really going to last and they are pretty tough from uh, some of the stuff that I captured and you will see as we go through this video, uh, they are really, um, really tough motors and they help. Uh, a lot with anti-locking, regenerative braking, uh, traction control, and torque vectoring. Now this torque vectoring I want to talk about a little bit because this is very interesting. Uh, it aims to improve steering response and handling through the distribution of torque between the wheels. At first glance, this may seem similar to what limited slip differential or LSD do. However, torque vectoring is a more advanced technology. Perhaps the best way to differentiate the two systems is with regards to how and when they operate. An LSD is primarily a mechanical reactive system that works in specific circumstances to limit the slip bearing being experienced by a particular wheel, such as when accelerating or braking through a sharp corner. However, in contrast, torque vectoring is a holistic predictive approach to vehicle dynamic using a combination of hardware and electronic systems. It provides the most suitable distribution of torque to a wheel at any point based on the driver's intention and the driving conditions. Rather than purely limiting slip, this could, for example, include allowing a small amount of power to be sent to a slower wheel or proactively distributing engine power to enable the car to rotate more effectively or easily through a corner, which is known as increasing the yaw. And here we can see that Alfie's doing more than just road tests. Um, they're doing in-house tests. They are, uh, you can see they're spraying the wheels down, the motor down. Uh, they even got it underwater. They're doing shot drops uh, test on the motors. And uh, this is something that they are continuously doing uh, to make sure that the motor's gonna last. Here's a mud test um, and the motor is working fine. You see, and here's the ice test where the motor's actually frozen, but yet it's, uh, it continues to work fine. And um, I know that they're actually also doing a salt test like here. And we know how highly corrosive salt is. And no doubt they're probably going to continue to test these just to see how far the, it, the motor will go. Here's where the motor is actually in salt water and they're testing it. And so these motors that they're designing, um, no doubt they want these things to last so your Aptera motor is going to last a long time and that's uh, what I truly appreciate with Alfie 
Of course, we really won't know the real results until we actually get our hands on one and then we start actually driving it around. Of course, I know um, some of us may do our own hard tests on it to see what we can put these motors through, but it looks like they've really done a good job with all the testing that they have done. I'm impressed, I'm really impressed. Uh, makes me wanna get my hands on Aptera even more. Uh, and the way they designed it, you can see that it offers uh, many advantages uh, that would be impossible to achieve with other propulsion systems. So it enhances aerodynamic, it makes the vehicle lighter overall, and it improves handling, um, all of which results in a better mileage and safe car, which is what we all want. Of course, in combination with that Terra's low drag, the aerodynamic and lightweight construction, um, the company says Alfie's compact high torque in wheel motor drops energy usage to less than 100 watt hours per mile. So I can't wait for this thing to come out, man. I mean, when we start getting the numbers on this, this is really going to be game changing. This is going to be awesome. Um, so it's actually four times lower than the average EV. And then the precise torque vectoring, yeah, I had just talked about that. It actually maximizes the aerodynamics by allowing the vehicle to make small steering changes at speeds without physically turning the wheels. So, I mean, that's gonna help out a lot too. Uh, leaving the airflow around the vehicle front suspension undisturbed. Yes, I am really looking forward to this vehicle and I'm sure uh, most of you are as well. And the closer it gets, the more excited I'm gonna get. Uh, the vector steering control likewise also eases slow speed turning without the need for bulky power steering. So that also makes Aptera lighter without having to have a power steering system. So once again, I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be fantastic. And here we see Aptera, they're actually testing um, the arm and um, see the cables and the hoses, as well as the suspension and the steering. Um, they're actually giving them a durability test to see how long they last. So yes, this is really going to be something once they come out. The testing that they're doing on this is phenomenal and I'm just so glad to be a part of Aptera. And if you're not excited for when Aptera comes out, wow, you, you're just probably gonna miss out. You might hate yourself for it. But I mean, if you don't have the money for it, you can't do anything, right? But I'm telling you, when they come out, they are going to be big because they're putting so much hard work into putting this together and they want it to come out right, you know that the product that they're gonna make is gonna be phenomenal. Even Sandy Monroe said that, that this is going to be big like um, the Volkswagen Beetle, as big as the Model T. And you know, who doesn't wanna be a part of that? Who doesn't want to invest in a company like that and really make a big difference, not only with, with the world, but also in their own life and probably in their own family life. So go ahead and get on board, you know, go ahead and, you know, sign my link and get on board with this because you, this is probably going to be a once in a lifetime ordeal. And I'm sure you're going to want to be a part of that. Yes, indeed. This is going to be fantastic. Yes, guys. Go ahead and jump on this. And when you get a chance, you might want to go on Aptera's website and sign up and invest in this company. All right, you guys. I'm going to give a shout out to you. My patrons, you guys are awesome. Hey, we know we're getting a good deal, don't we? We know this company is going to rock. Oh, my goodness. That's why Aptera is growing by the day. And pretty soon, we're going to have it in our hands. And we're going to show the world how awesome this vehicle is. So if you're new here, 
uh, go ahead and sign the subscribe, hit the like, ring the bell, and you can catch my next video when it comes out. All right, you guys take care. You have a good one. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.